beginning with John chapter 15, verse 1. And it reads, If you abide in me, and my word abide in you. We must abide in the of Jesus, because Jesus loves us. Well, give me some word. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. My sisters and brother, God is calling us through his son for us to love one another. And if we begin to love like the word say, our lives will be better. Our homes will be better. Family will become better. We as a church must learn to love that Jesus loved. Jesus loved the woman that was caught in the act of adultery. Amen. And he said, well, thou accuser. She said, I have none. He said, neither do I. Amen. And I want you to know today, my sister and brother, later on found out in the scripture, John 15 chapter, they said, no greater love Amen. that a man would lay down his life. Jesus gave his life for you and I that we can have a better life. Well, John 10 and 10 said, the thief come but to kill, steal, and destroy. But I, Jesus, come that you might have abundant life. I don't know about you, but I'm on a good life. I'm on a good life down here, and when I go to heaven, it's going to be a good life. I don't care what nobody says. Jesus loves you. If nobody else tell you they love you, know that he loved you unconditionally. Romans 5 and 8 say, while we were yet in sin, Christ died for the ungodly. And I am persuaded that, guess what? Paul said, neither death nor life, nor privilege, nothing shall separate us from the love. We can't let nothing say, when yeah. you are loving you, life, my sister, that means Jesus. You got to look beyond our fault because we all have sin. Come short. Come short. See, we start looking at one another, your flaws and my flaws, but love don't see that. Amen. When we get before God, God is going to see the love of Jesus and he's going to say, well done. Thou good and faith was certain. Right now, we're living in a time where guess what? Love has waxed cold. No love in the home. Mother don't love their children. Brothers and sisters not loving one another. It's not a love we hate in one another. Hate has taken over. Uh, it's so much killing. Love don't even love is like a word that of yesterday. But we need to go back and read the word of God. He said, Blessed are the pure heart. They shall see God. If you got love, you're gonna be about peace. If you, going, if you got love, you're not still confusion in the church. Yeah. It's not about my title. It's not about this. I love Jesus because Jesus loved me. Yeah. And sister and brother, this morning, I just want to share with you all your body in the love of Jesus. And if you're not, please give Jesus a chance to show how much you love. Yeah. He loves us. Amen. He loves us, right? Bill Black, you know what I'm He loves us, guess what? Because the enemy could have been stronger, but hey. love lifted me. Hey, glory to God. When nothing else could help, love lifted me. When, when everybody's saying you ain't no good, love saying, you're my child. Glory to God. When the prodigal son had love, yeah. he lost everything, he spent everything, but guess what? It came to his mind. He said, my daddy has houses and cattles. And guess what? He thought about the love he was getting at home. And he said, I believe I'll come back home. No, he said, I don't have to be called his son. Just make me hot, sir. See, love is waiting on you. Why don't you come on in and say, yes, Lord, as the old saints say. Yes to your will. Yes to your way. Yes, I'll obey you. No, none of us are perfect. Only one was perfect was love. He died. But not only did he 
died, but he rose, y'all. And he rose so we can be what? Saints of God and live with Jesus forever. This morning, as I share with you, I want you to know love is waiting on you. Love is calling you by your name. And say, guess what? I'm not through with you. He that begin a good work with you shall complete until the day. And the only way we're going to be complete is by start loving one another. Don't look at me. I don't look at you. Because we all fell down. But love lifted me. Love is saying today, Ville Platt, all over the world, don't let the devil fool you. Don't make the devil think you nobody loves you. You don't have to have a man to be loved. You don't have to have a woman to be loved. Jesus loved you all by himself. He loved you so much that guess what? He died for you while he was on the cross. He said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. That's love, y'all. When you love, you're going to pray. When you love, you're going to encourage. When you love, you're not going to discourage one another. When we love one another in the church, if I make a mistake, don't hold it to me. Forgive me. Pray for me. Don't go spread rumors all over the world. I'm getting on Facebook and everywhere and say, Sister so and so. That's not love, y'all. Love is not puffed up. Mm. Love don't have to show up. Look, look what I did and I did that. No. When you do that in love. Mm -hmm. If you do it secretly, he will reward you over. When you love, you don't have to tell, brother, I think I'm a brother so and so. That's not love. Mm -hmm. No record. When you love, you're doing it from your heart. Mm -hmm. A lot of people say they love, my brothers and sisters. Preachers say they love, but they want to compete. Who's the better preacher? Who got the biggest church? Love didn't say nothing. Mm -hmm. Love went sit on them doctors and lawyers and they said, Who is your name? He said, My earthly daddy's name is Joseph the Carpenter. My earthly mama name is Mary. But let me tell you who my real daddy is. God Almighty, Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. The first and the last. Love was at the well. Thirsty. And he met the Samaritan woman. And he said, well, why don't you give me a drink? She said, you being a Jew, me being a Samaritan, you know we have no deal. But love kept on talking. See, when you love somebody, you can talk them out of a situation that the enemy is trying to make him do. Jesus talked to her, and she got so happy, she said, I'm going to see you. Mm. And after he told her, guess what? He said, if thou knew the gift of God that was on the inside, that would ask you. Love kept on talking, saints. And love, because what? God, she got converted. She got so converted. Guess what? She went and said, Come see a man that told me how to really love. That really loved me. You see, when you love, you don't have to have money for love. Love comes from the heart. The old saints say, Love from, from heart to heart. And if it ain't in your heart, sister brother, you can pretend you love. But the real you will show up one day. And I say to you, feel clear, new life. My brother said, it does not matter what color you are. Love said, those who wish of me must wish of me in spirit and in truth. I love you, my brother. I love you, my sister. When you love, you'll tell that brother you can make it. When you have the love of Jesus, you'll encourage the saints even forget about your own. See, love forgot about itself. But guess what? When you love, you won't always look at the needs of yourself. Sometimes you got to look at the needs of others. And when you have the love of Jesus, he will make a way. Love will heal you. Love will tell you, guess what? Keep looking up to the hill. Mm -hmm. From which come? 
your help. On this Sunday morning, just want you to abide in the love of Jesus. Because if you abide in his love, you can make it. If you abide in his love, you'll be overcome. We're more than conqueror through him that love us. So as I share with you, sister, brother, children, he loves you. He cares about you. Love says First Peter 5 and 7, cast all your cares upon me. For I care for you. Today, just want to encourage you on this Sunday morning. To tell you that abide in his love. When you come to church, say, Love, here I am. I stretch my hand to thee. No other help I know. If thou would withdraw thyself from me, whither shall I go? Am I talking to anybody this morning? Somebody today needs to hear that I love you. Somebody needs to hear that I care about. And when you love, you can look a person face to face and see them, guess what, in your tail. You can feel when somebody really loves you. Come on, saints. And I know Jesus loves you. He promised you he will never leave you nor forsake you. So I say to my brothers all over the world, God loves us because he gave us his only begotten. No man ever lived and never saw Jesus. Amen? But I promise you, we could live it and walk it in love and learn to just love with a true heart, with a sincere heart. I promise you, the word of God will allow you to pour that love into somebody else that never felt love. And I promise you, they'll go and tell somebody else that person had Jesus, they had to love Jesus, and they told me about it. So as we get ready to pray this morning, I don't know who it is that needed to hear that they need to abide in the love. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you're going through. But I got good news to tell you that love is waiting on you. Love wants to help you. At the 11, 28, say, come unto me. Mm. All ye that labor and have a labor, take my yoke and learn me. He shall rest unto your soul. He said, come. Love said, come. There's a song said, come just as you are. See, when you love someone, you ain't got to tell them to take that dog. No, just come. When love is in your heart, you ain't going to worry about how that brother, sister smell, how they look, what's going on. See, when you love, you're not looking at the outside. You're loving from the inside. So today, we get ready to pray for somebody that haven't experienced real love. Today, I want you to know. Let me introduce you to a man named Jesus that can give you all the love you ever need. Father, here we are today. I want to say thank you for your son, Jesus. Who gave his life for us. Shed his life that we can really experience true love. I don't know what my brothers and sisters are going through. But whatever it is, God. Let love lift them up. Let love change their attitude. Let love change their life. I don't know what that preacher going through. I don't know what that sister going through. I don't know what that mother. Those children in school. We need love in the home so there'll be love in the streets. We need love in the home so there'll be love in the church. That we won't be fighting one another. Won't be no division. That we will not look at our title, but we will love one another because God is love. And those who love God will do what he says. And those who don't love God don't know who he is. Father, forgive us for all that we've done wrong. And let the love of Jesus abide with us forevermore. We pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen. God is going to bless you. We're doing a new thing in the city of Hillcraft. And we want
want our brothers and sisters to know it's all about Jesus. Revival is coming to fill the place. Just as it fell on the day of Pentecost. In Acts chapter 2, God is calling us to come together. It's not a matter about your denomination. It's about Jesus. We come today to say to you, we want to help make a difference in our community. We want to tell you today, don't worry about what people say. Just let God fight your battles. And I'm sure that God is going to see you through. So I just come today to welcome you to the city of Ville Platte, Louisiana, all over the world. I want you to know I love Jesus. Jesus loves you. And today as we doing this great work that we see it on YouTube and Facebook, the great work that we're doing, we want you to come Journey. Don't watch us grow, but come grow with us. Come help us make a difference because it's not about just one person. It's about a community working together to bring a difference to Evangeline Paris and all over America because people will be coming all over the world to help us. And everybody, Apostle Wilson, everybody, Elder Tan, all the saints, it's about Jesus, y'all. And when we start looking up to Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, I promise you, my sister, we're going to have a better community. It's about helping our young people so they have things to do. Giving our widow people, encouraging them, feeding the home, closing uh, those who have Need clothes. God has given us vision. And we together can make it happen. So I come to encourage you today. I'm praying for you. I want you to know you're in my prayer. I want you to know I love you. If you don't love me, ain't nothing you can do about it. Guess what? It's an unconditional love. So I say to you, my sister and brother, let's work together. For it's not by my not by power, but by my spirit, said the Lord. God bless you. And heaven.